Good morning. I am awake. Woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. Very ungodly hours, but... And it's especially Sunday. But I'm going to this supercar driver meet. Obviously, I'm not in a supercar. It's a mere little sports car. But there'll be other cars there. And we are going on an 80-mile drive in the south of England. So hopefully that should be fun. I'm taking you along for the ride and show you the countryside and the nice roads and other nice cars. So yeah, keep watching. All these cars are going to be so fast and I think that my car is going to be left behind. We have the C63 AMG. Here we have a nice Lamborghini, then it's my car, which you've all seen hundreds of times. But then we have this really amazing, interesting thing. gonna leave us all behind, aren't you? I'm not, I'm not feeling brave enough yeah. for, uh, for that. Most people, I'll try and keep on We have a, another few people join us. Now we have a Ferrari. We have a BMW. Not sure which one this is. Here we are. I don't know who else is and mine is in the C63. The yellow Aventador's working. Ethan here, mine in the GTS is working. Jason in the Atom is waving. Finally managed to get the GoPro to work after plugging it in. I charged it last night, but as always, they have problems. They decide when they feel like charging or not. I never thought I would be saying this because I've been such a Porsche fan all my life. And after having had 15 odd Porsches, but I'm actually loving the Lamborghini in the rear view mirror behind me. It looks so mean and beautiful. I always had a thing for the Gallardos, but...
currently driving through the English countryside and along the A roads, which is so beautiful. of the journey now and we are going to head back out. I've asked the person in the Aventador to go in front of me because then I can film him for you guys because I'm sure many people would prefer seeing an Aventador any other car in the pack. So many bikers out today as well. I guess it's a nice day and it's the countryside so they're all enjoying it. The Aventador does really nice pops and crackles that you can't really hear from in here but I can hear them. So I had a look at the Hurricane and the Aventador um, boot space which is very important when you're doing European trips and unfortunately both of them have next to no boot space or space inside the car. If you're one person perhaps you can put your luggage on the passenger seat but if there's two of you there's no way um, even with a small weekend bag you can't really put the weekend bag in there. beautiful cars and I guess they're very fast and sound amazing. I've never driven one so I can't tell you what they're like. I've never been a big fan of Italian cars or Italian sports cars or supercars, whatever they're called these days. But I guess as I'm getting older, they're growing up me. For me, the idea of a fun sports car is that you can use it every day and you can take it away on long, long road trips. The reason I like Porsches is because they're more practical and they have a lot more space, yet they're sports cars. You can use them every day and you can take 
taking them on a long route like I've done a few times going around Europe. I'm a little tempted to be honest to get a Lamborghini for a year or two just to enjoy it a bit but I know myself and I need something I can use every day otherwise I think it's just sitting there rusting away and there's no point having it. I use all my cars every day of the week as in I take turns so each car gets driven at least twice a week that way they keep in good nick we are crossing over to Hailing Island lots of nice boats in the water small bridge I don't think it's a very big island and it's not very far from the mainland so it's a very small bridge Sometimes, is it? No, it's not, but in the summer, I think, I think because it's a little bit early now, yeah. and there's nothing really going on yet. Yeah. A little hairy with most of our car found. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y